A couple weeks ago, I feel like my upcycling world exploded with new possibilities when I found out there is such a thing as acrylic leather paint, like paint specifically made that you can paint on shoes, purses, wallets, even furniture. This paint, according to the box, will not peel or crack. I'm going to use it on these leather sandals that I got. Obviously, really plain, really brown, really blah. So here's my plan. I'm thinking I use some of the leather paint to put on some kind of bright, almost neon, very summery color. So if you guys are wondering, does this work right out of the box as promised? This, this video, this video is going to tell you that because I have no idea. I'm not sponsored, so if it sucks, I'm definitely going to let you know. This particular set has 12 different colors in it, and I think there must be like small little bottles. It's about $37 online. I think there's a sale. Sometimes you can get it for about $30. But um, if you are a reseller like me, this could really come in key for repairing some items like shoes, purses, wallets, especially if you find like designer stuff that has like a flaw or a mark on it that you can't cover up. If you can flawlessly paint it with this, I mean, you could make some bank. Here we go. They look nice, don't they? They look amazing. So this, like I said, is the 12 color set. There's kind of like this like pink. Oh, I like that. That would be really cool on like a purse or a wallet too. Um, the one that definitely is catching my eye that I'm going to use on these sandals for sure is this turquoise. That is super pretty as well. I'm so excited to see how that looks. What the instructions say in the bottle is that it works on canvas, denim, faux leather, mesh, nylon, wood, and much more. They may be mixed to obtain other colors. Always best to apply multiple thin coats rather than thick coats. So I'll remember that thin coats. When properly applied, it will provide a flexible water resistant finish. I did not know this before, but it says that there's like a special leather preparing solution. I don't have that, but I'm still gonna forge through. I kind of cruised the internet to find what I thought would be colorful for these sandals, but not like childish. Cause at first I was like, ooh, I mean, you could really go crazy with all of these colors cause there's just so many to pick from, but I don't really want to look like I'm leaving like my seventh grade art class or something. I'm looking for something that's colorful, but sophisticated. That's what we're going to try to replicate today. And um, I'm gonna let you know <laughs> if I'm able to do that. I sure hope so. Here we go. Ooh, that's pretty pigmented. I definitely can see a little bit of the color of the leather underneath it, but I think, yeah, it's kind of soaking in. I think you can kind of see that. I think with a couple more coats, my problem might be solved. I think realistically, whenever anyone's trying something like this, we all wanna know how long is it really taking to dry? So I'm gonna just do like a finger test just to see if anything comes off. It's really only been like five minutes. So it feels like a little bit tacky and there is like the tiniest amount that came off on my finger. So that's after five minutes. I mean, I think that's pretty impressive. To give you kind of a visual here, so this side I have about three different coats on. I think that one looks really good. I, I gotta touch it up, which I'm gonna do once we get done with this. But on the other side, I just did one coat. You can definitely see through that a little bit more. So does take a couple coats. So, so far so good with like this turquoise color 
let's move on to another color so I can let you know how that works. Okay, here we go. Um, not bad. I'm pretty impressed with the with the white so far because sometimes white can just really take a long time to show up. It's definitely going to need a couple coats, but it's not bad at all. So, so far we've tried the turquoise, we've tried the white. Both of them seem to be working pretty well. Um, definitely have to add a couple layers in order for them to be completely opaque. Now what I'm gonna do is honestly terrifying to me. I am going to try mixing the red and kind of an orange, maybe even a little bit of yellow to try to duplicate like that mango bright color. Uh, just cross your fingers for me. I'm gonna try putting white on the bottom of this and then yellow over top of it. Okay, definitely not bad. We can definitely work with this. Now that I've been doing this, I'm, I would do the entire shoes with the, with the layer of yellow underneath it just to kind of prep it if you're looking for something bright like this. So um, the painting process and the saturation of the colors, I'm pretty impressed with. Now it just comes to how well it's gonna hold up. I'm gonna check back in with you guys in 24 hours and let you know how I feel. It's been a couple of days. I have not moved these. The paint is completely dry. Now we are going to do the bending test to see how these hold up. So I'm gonna bend it, see if any of that cracks. It doesn't seem to be cracking. It seems to be going back to the shape it was before. Yeah, no cracking so far. Looks good. The coverage, honestly, I'm impressed with. I will say I learned so much. Um, I learned that you have to do thin, thin, thin coats and that they need to be perfectly even. I definitely messed up a little bit on the yellow. The yellow is the color that I'm most dissatisfied with as far as completely covering the brown. I did put white underneath this side. So you can kind of see the difference right there. See how that's like a whiter, brighter yellow and this is a little bit more muddy. That's because this side had the white underneath it and this side is just several coats of yellow. And you can kind of see that too on these straps. Cause I did these with a white um, undercoat and then this is just a strap with the paint on it so it's just for that more crisp colorful look putting a coat of white underneath is definitely what I would do and the white itself coats pretty well um, that's just from a little bit of unevenness from me user error but yeah I think honestly they look good <laughs> with how everything came out and I'm really excited to do a ton more experiments with this paint including
doing actual paintings on like purses and that kind of thing. So if you guys want to see more projects like that, definitely give me a like on this video, hit the subscribe button to see those in the future. And if you're interested in trying out this Angela's paint yourself, I'm going to put the link in the description of where I got it on Amazon. And if of course you want to see some more upcycling project tutorials, I've got a whole playlist of those. I'm going to put those right here. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys. Thanks so much for being with me. Have a great day.